Hey everyone, today I've got your Independence Day Resurgence movie review. 30 years since the last alien invasion on the world, there is now a new race of aliens that are headed back to Earth, but will they be stopped before the 4th of July? As far as the story goes, Roland Emmerich is at it again with his disaster films, which first started out with the sequel of the 1996 Independence Day film. Now, I would say that Independence Day was actually a really funny film for its time. I still think it lives up, even though it can be a little bit dated nowadays, since it has been a long time since it came out. I feel like this movie, I was sort of on the fence about seeing it, and now that I eventually did, I'm kind of disappointed by it, and uh, I'll definitely get into that a little bit later, so I don't really know why uh, things went wrong or why things seemed very inconsistent, and I think I know why or uh, whom is the reason that this movie may have failed. As far as the casting goes, you've got a lot of returning cast members, which obviously would have definitely made sense with this film, starting off with Jeff Goldblum, who returns as David, and of course he's found this, uh, I guess, new alien ship that's headed to Earth, and these new aliens that are basically different, more powerful, and the ship is bigger than the last one, so, you know, you gotta find a way, ultimately, to take it out, you know, get that virus in that ship, and then blow the thing to absolute oblivion. The fact that, uh, he's in here, I thought that was really well done, but unfortunately, uh, I did not get to see Will Smith return, and that was really sad, and the fact that they just sort of said, oh, he died. Like, that's so stupid. Because then you have the guy who plays his son, and he's all grown up, and now he's sort of taking on the reins like his father did, being this fire pilot, and like saying, like, oh, didn't, didn't I promise you fireworks and all that stuff? And it's just like, it's a whole rehash of something that I feel like sounds very familiar, like another movie I saw recently. But... Then again, you've got other actors like Liam Hemsworth, who I feel like has been in a lot of films recently, and a lot of them tanked at the box office. Now, I wouldn't say that it's his fault because he may not be the best actor around, but for him to be in this movie, it's just basically eye candy. So, I wasn't too impressed with the way that he was in this film, and his character just annoyed me. And then you've got Mike Monroe, who I actually do love as an actress, and she plays the president's daughter, uh, the president, the former president being Bill Pullman, who is also in this film, and he's kind of gone a little bit crazy uh, because of his encounter with the one alien that wanted to get inside his head. Or wait, that could have been Brent Spiner, but even his character, I was like, wait a minute, didn't he die? How is he still alive and in, in this movie? Now, Supposedly, the new president in this film is played by Celia Ward, and I do love that they have uh, a female president in this film, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I feel like her character was a little bit of a letdown and kind of wasted because I know she can be very talented and underrated, but she was definitely underplayed in this film. The things that I did like about this film, some of the action and effects I thought were really cool, and... Obviously, I'm glad the effects have changed, even though I do like to see that authentic look uh, going back and watching the first Independence Day film, and then seeing this movie, I almost felt like the effects weren't all that great, but they were still uh, decent to watch as far as the sci-fi flick goes, but then again, that's not saying much. The alien designs, I thought, were really cool as well, and I... <sighs> Still don't like those aliens and their dastardly deeds, and, you know, they're just cool, but then again, I'm glad they were wiped out. Unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this film, I didn't really feel like there was enough nostalgia for me to really care about this film. I almost didn't want to watch it because of how it felt like it was catering to a younger audience, and 
that it was just boring in certain areas for the majority of the film. I just felt like it really wasn't as special of a film for me to watch as compared to the original. Now, I don't want to compare this to the original, but I couldn't help it. It's been quite a few years since the last movie came out, so it definitely uh, had to sell me on quality. And there were areas of poor CGI that I definitely noticed. And the fact that Will Smith was still not in this movie irritated me. And it's like they basically shrugged off his character. Anyway, that's enough of that. This movie, because it had that younger cast in the majority of the film as compared to the veteran actors from the original, it really did feel like Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm sorry, I actually love that film, but this movie, it just came off wrong, and not only that, but it was too dang long. That's why I got bored of it. So, overall, I would say that Independence Day Resurgence just was not a good film. I was really disappointed by it, and I'm just gonna go back and watch the original Independence Day, because at least that was funny, and it wasn't just because of Will Smith, but, you know, then again, <sighs> welcome to Earth. I would not recommend seeing this movie. I say just go back and watch the original. So I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Independence Day Resurgence. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back and look for a Trial Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.